Now, if he had had a firearm, something else, that would have not been a good story. But if I had, that probably would have helped. That is a weird sun this morning. Super orange. I'm very, very into home defense systems now. I love doing this. So, me, a couple of awesome trucks, really good fire range. I'll show you guys some of these. I'm out here at these ranges for Cobalt Kinetics. They make incredible home defense systems and I am gonna test a bunch of them out. Different barrel lengths, shorter ones, different systems so that I can see what I need. And the reason I'm out here, the reason I'm doing this is I don't know how many of you remember the story and Rach noticed a fight down the street from her house, which doesn't happen very or ever. And all of a sudden she calls me, says, hey honey, there's this guy making his way to our house. Can you please come outside, open the garage door for me and shut it quickly. I thought, wow, that's random. So I did that and I went and stood out there to look and he starts making his way up my driveway and he has a backpack and there's something in it and I didn't know what it was. So I grab a crowbar, get my two Dobermans and I go out and meet him on my driveway. He says a couple choice words to me. I exchanged the uh, playful banter. Um, pretty scared, I didn't let him know that. And I held out my crowbar and told him he needed to leave. Now, if he had had a firearm, something else, that would have not been a good story. But if I had, that probably would have helped the story a little bit. Now, I wouldn't have used it, hopefully, but it, it got pretty hairy. And this happened after in Hawaii. Before that, I actually had the police wake me up while escorting somebody in my house that was robbing us out of our house. This time, Raquel was a baby. Clay was about three and there was a six foot two intruder in our house trying to rob us, but a neighbor, a friend of ours, had called him and said, there's somebody in this house, and I know it's not the owners. So, one of the cool options is backpack, if you ever needed it. All right, so what is this first one I'm gonna be uh, be trying out? Uh, all of these are the Cobalt Kinetics Professional Series, um, our, or our BAMP Pros. Um, this one right here is our 13 and a half inch handguard with a 13.7 barrel. Um, all of these are in 5.56, 223, and uh, the differences are going to be the handguard lengths and the uh, barrel lengths. It's got a 13.7 with a mid-length gas system, a six and three quarter inch barrel with a pistol gas system, 18 inch barrel with a rifle length gas system. This one is our 12 and a half inch handguard with an 11 and a half inch barrel. And then this last one is a 13.2, 13 13.2 inch barrel, same same handguard length. Awesome, so real fast. What, is, uh, what does BAMF stand for? Um, by your own, this is Billet Aluminum Modern Firearm. All right, so can I test this guy out first? Absolutely. Sweet. Yeah, that's my favorite. All right, so I love how this guy feels for how short he is. Now, what am I gonna feel differently between this guy? Yeah, you're gonna get a little bit more accuracy out of it, uh, especially out to distance. This one is suppressed, and so it, it will be quieter. Um, it's gonna feel a little bit different because of that silencer. I feel like it shoots a little bit smoother. Wow, I really like the feel of that. All right, so now we're going for the big guy. Wow, that is intense. My goodness, this optic is amazing. I can see all the shots. Yeah, right in 
the center. Oh, I really like that stand. That is really cool. Okay, that was awesome. Yeah, that is amazing. The way that it can pivot too. Okay, I want one more. <laughs> there wasn't anything in that teeny center little circle and I got three right in there. That was rad. The simplicity of this one I really do enjoy though. And none of my uh, home defense systems have anything extra on them. These are so, am I allowed to say friendly? I've handled and used a few of my buddies and they are so clinky and just, <clears throat> I mean, they're, they're jarring. The recoil on these is incredible. Yeah, I like this guy too. Yeah. Okay, so the bolt carrier group has this hole in the back. Right. And our buffer system right here is shaped in a way that mates up into that hole. But what ends up happening is you don't get a flat on flat surface right. like typical. And so this mates in there and stays very linear throughout, which is a perceived reduction in recoil or it smooths out that recoil. Cool. And then you can change these weights depending on what ammo you're using, what right. gas system you're using so that it's the softest shooting for you. Some of the systems I've used, I mean, they shoot you back or it's the way the brake goes. It's legit. Like it hits you in the chest with these. Yeah, it's a lot softer. And this one, because, because this has this law tactical folder on it, um, it's got a piece that already fills that. Yeah. And so this coming back, not being a female end, we've modified our system to, right. to now be the female end so that when that mates up, mm -hmm. sinks right in. It sinks right in. That's been cool. So this here is a surprise. This is not in production. This is, how about I just show you? Here we go. I got all anticipated the last time. I kept going like this, anticipating it. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. That is addicting. That is expensive. That was like $12 right there. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. I see why this isn't on the market. Ta-da! That was awesome. And then that's probably on me too. <laughs> All right, so that was incredible. That was intense. Um, we had a long chat for about an hour at the range about being responsible and how to do things the right way and safety and really incredible and that's the the point of all of this is safety it's not craziness it's not cool it's safety and it's sad that that's needed but there's been multiple times in our family where people have shown up at our house have found us we've tried to keep it fairly you know secret just for my kids safety and we had two guys show up all the way from France on our front doorstep when Rach and I weren't home and we've had lots of different experiences like that. And so safety is the number one thing for us. It's what I love, it's what I cherish. I'm a farm kid, I grew up with this kind of systems, but my goodness, that's been a lot of fun. And so now I'm gonna build a home defense system for myself. So let's go inside. All right guys, I'm back and I'm gonna totally pester Matt right now. What's up guys? I'm Matt, Cobalt Kinetics, uh, shop manager, head Cerakote guy. Hashtag the man. The man. The man. <laughs> He's the man. Um, so I'm here working on Jason. Um, right now I'm working on the leaf uh, for the the final. We'll say dazzle on his. The uh, pizzazz. <laughs> right. But, um, so what I've done is I've gone through and done some editing on this image here, and we're gonna get it ready and transfer it into the uh, the cutter, which is right over here. Right there. 
stencil cutter. So as you see here, we got our pattern laid out. Oh, that's so cool. I, I, mean, I, need, I need like a, a lame dad joke. I'm like, leave me alone or something like that. That's <laughs> right. the, it's gonna say, leave me alone. So as you can see here, we got it laid out. The red area here is gonna be actually what the cutter is cutting out. And as you see right over your shoulder here, it's actually gonna start cutting. So Jace, we got your 675 oh, Cobalt Kinetic. Okay. Getting ready for painting and coating. Getting ready for our stencil layout and pattern. This is the pattern. Yep. Then we're gonna cut it out. What I do to prep this is I'll come through and I'll grab it and I will slowly, very delicately pick this pattern of leaf out. We have a large and then some smalls and then I'm probably gonna do a couple of small ones. Um, just because obviously we don't want a bunch of big leaves. And so we'll randomly place them on there. And if I'm not correct, we're gonna go with a pink. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's awesome. It's because it protects my Ohana. That's right. Right? That's right. Yes. All right, let's take a look at this. Let's pull it off here. Now, this might not be a tough guy look, but I think that's a pretty tough guy look. But, guess who gets to play with this? Or defend with this? Rachel. I think it's so Rachel, good. This is for you. Look at this green. Oh, it's even hidden. And then we got the green. Right. Matchy, matchy. Let's go with. All right, I'm pumped. <laughs> so, on cobaltkinetics.com, these actually just went. I was. What did Aaron say? He said oh, I had to be tight lipped. Tight That's lipped. the quote tight lipped. tight lipped. But they just got marked down 300 bucks from what they were. And this. 675 yes. length was my favorite. Yes. Was my favorite. Did, did you shoot this at the range? Yeah. With, yeah. With this Aaron one, a... the 16 inch, no, 18 inch, 18 inch, whole bunch of them. <laughs> and this baby was my absolute favorite. I've been looking for a system like this, this length, compact, and I like this better than the SIG. Great backpack gun. Yes. Great yeah, I need to get the fold right there so I can collapse it even yep. more. A lot of tactical. Okay. Well, thank you for this. We're going to transfer it and do all this good stuff, all the boring, official, legal, awesome part that we do on all of these. Take care of that. I'm going to surprise Rach. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below what you like, what you don't like, what your thoughts are. Did I make this gun too pink or do you like the pink? Thank you guys for watching. Also, check out Cobalt Kinetics on Instagram, YouTube. Are they on YouTube? They will be soon because I'll help them with that. Thank you guys. Peace.